Good morning, everybody, and um, welcome to morning prayer this morning. Hope you are well, and uh, hope uh, you've had a good morning so far. What have you been up to this morning? I am um, looking forward to doing morning prayer with you today. Uh, we have got Psalm uh, 80, and... Uh, it's quite a nice little psalm. Um, so hopefully um, that'll be quite good to do this morning. And uh, and yeah, looking forward to praying with you all. Hope you are doing well. Um, I'll just check the video is working. Looks like it is. Um, I've got um, my little friend here with me this morning. Who's um, in... Uh, I would move the camera, but then I'd have to put it back again. But uh, um, I've got my uh, little pussy cat with me this morning, so she's quite enjoying, I think, the warmth and the companionship. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it's great to be with you. Um, we are now in the season of Advent. Who can believe it? It's um, amazing how quickly time has flown. Good morning, Barbara. Lovely to have you with us. And morning, Mum, as well. Lovely to be with you both this morning. So let's um, just pause for a moment and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flick through various liturgies this morning. I thought I'd use a bit of Fowler Brennan, maybe a bit of Celtic, maybe a bit of the old common worship as well. Um, so uh, we'll use various things this morning. But um, let's begin with a moment of quiet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord for ever. All the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your might? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. So, a declaration. Remembering our faith, and using the words that Peter used when Jesus asked if he and the other disciples would want to leave him to. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we have believed and come to know that you are the Holy One of God. So our psalm this morning is Psalm 80. And uh, it's a quite a nice little psalm for us to use this morning. So let's, let's turn to God's word. Hear, O shepherd of Israel, that you led Joseph like a flock. You that led Joseph like a flock, sorry. Shine forth, you that are enthroned upon the cherubim, before Ephraim, Benjamin and Manasseh. Stir up your mighty strength and come to our salvation. Turn us again, O God. Show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry at your people's prayer? You feed them with the bread of tears, you give them abundance of tears to drink. 
you've made us the derision of your our neighbours, and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Turn us again, O God of hosts, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt, you drove out the nations and planted it. You made room around it, and when it had taken root, it filled the land. The hills were covered with its shadow, and the cedars by of God by its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea, and its tendrils to the river. Why then have you broken down its wall, so that all who pass by pluck off its grapes? The wild boar out of the wood tears it off, and all the insects of the field devour it. Turn again, O God of hosts, Look down from heaven and behold. Cherish this vine which your right hand has planted, and the branch that you have made so strong for yourself. Let those who burn it with fire, who cut it down, perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let your hand be upon the man at your right hand, the son of man you made so strong for yourself. And so will we not go back from you. Give us life, and we shall call upon your name. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Although, um, obviously this psalm is talking about the people of Israel, um, feeling abandoned by God because of the, uh, uh, I presume it's because of the exile, or perhaps this is just one of the other times when the enemies of Israel had overrun the land and they were facing um, uh, occupation or um, people defeating them in battle. Um, I love that image of God planting a, a tree in it, sort of, um, no, the vine out of Egypt, um, plant, God planted it and made room for it, and when it had taken root, it filled the land, and it covered the cedars, you know, it covered everything, um, and then, um, it now feels as though God's allowing and them to be plundered, if you like, and um, um, and then to struggle, um, but of course this is a great Advent theme of turn us again, O oh God, turn us back to you, turn us again, I think it says it four times or five times, um, four times, verse 4, verse 8, and verse 16, uh, verse 15, and verse 20, turn us again, O God, and, um, and of course that's what this season of Advent is all about, isn't it, about us, turning back to God, um, a time of penitence, of preparation, of preparing ourselves to um, celebrate the Christmas season, but also preparing ourselves to meet with the risen Lord when he comes again. So as we pray this morning, let's invite God to turn us again, to help us focus on him and to draw near to him in his glory. So let's turn to a time of prayer. Heavenly Father, as we come before you this morning, in this season of Advent, 
we ask that you would open our hearts that we might turn to you afresh that you might help us to know your presence with us forgive us for those times when we turn away from you when our hearts are far from you when we look to our own desires our own needs and wants and forget to follow you help us this day to focus upon you to rest in your presence and to trust you for all that lies ahead we pray for the opportunities of this day the people we will meet the things we will do the chances we have for still and quiet the opportunities we have to spend moments in your presence give us wisdom O lord to use the time that you have given us for your glory and guide us we pray lord in your mercy hear our prayer heavenly father we pray for our churches for our local communities here in derby green and eversley and forever where we may be today. Lord Jesus, we pray that you would help those in our community who are struggling at the moment. Be near to all who are unwell, all who need to know your presence with them. Guide and strengthen them, we pray, and give them your peace. We pray for those who are struggling because of family situations or the financial pressures of this time. We pray that you would give to all the resources they need. Give us wisdom to know how we can be your hands and feet, reaching out to those in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this Advent season, that as we look to Christmas and as we begin the journey to find you once again, Emmanuel, God with us, that you would be near to all those in our community. We pray that many would come to hear the truth of who you are, spoken, sung, or shown in other ways. Thank you for the opportunity we have in our local schools to share you with the children. We pray for families, and for adults, and for everyone to come to know you for themselves. Heavenly Father, we pray for our land, for wisdom, for politicians, for those who uh, make decisions at every level, for those producing new technologies and things which will help us in the fight against climate change, for those who work so hard to care for those in need. We pray for all this, those in this land and we pray for wisdom for all leaders, all leaders around the world. Lord, this is your world, and we entrust it to you, asking that all the leaders of the nations would recognise that you are King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We pray for the opportunity that we have as your people to share your light. And we pray for our brothers and sisters around the world, especially those persecuted for their faith in you. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Myanmar, our deanery link. And we ask, Lord, for your guiding hand upon them. Heavenly Father, we pray 
for all those things which are on our hearts today. And we lift to God our own prayers in a moment of quiet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O High King of Heaven, have mercy on our land. Revive your church. Send the Holy Spirit for the sake of the children. May your kingdom come to our nation. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me, Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me, on my left and my right. So as we finish um, this morning, let's share the grace with one another. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And may God's peace and his grace be with each one of you, whether you're watching this live with me this morning or whether you are joining in later in the day or many days later. It is great to gather together and hear God's word and pray for our world. Do pray that you would have a really good day, whatever you're up to. We have our midweek communion um, about half eleven and, uh, and that's at St Barnabas and then uh, lots of other things happening, um, including all the school's days this week, so do pray for us as we reach out to our local schools with the good news of Jesus at Christmas. Have a wonderful week and I will see you on Saturday. God bless. Bye for now.